Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how I work between Sony Vegas and After Effects. I will probably make a better tutorial in the future, but I don't have that much time at the moment, so... Yeah, that's it. So basically, um, I use Sony Vegas to uh, synchronize the whole video to the music and stuff. And I use After Effects for the post effects for the, like, some other effects like Trickster or some random text behind the guy or whatever you want to call it like compositing um, so let's say when I have the clip here and sync it and I want to add some random text to the left or something then I just double click on that clip and then I you have this loop selection then you select the uh, part you want to render out let's say for this example I will just use this just a few seconds um, then I always make sure that it's on this disable resampling then I go to file render as and then I um, take render loop region only then I will just name that maybe clip 1 and I will render this out in AVI uncompressed and then it depends on what I do uh, when I add slow motion to the clip I always run that in 59.94 frames per second um, but if I just want to add some uh, text effects or something I will put it to 29.97 frames per second because I do the final render in 29.97 uh, seconds because, yeah, because frames per second because you don't see that much difference on YouTube and I think YouTube even I think there is no difference so yeah um, I will just so I just use AVI video for Windows and then uh, 29 frames per second I have no audio because I don't need that in After Effects because I just add the text like I said and then I go to yeah I save that by the way, I do not. I'm not entering the frag talk contest. Or this is not a serious edit. I just tested some configs and stuff, and what I'm doing here is not serious. Normally, I do everything like all the effects much better. So when you have the clip, drag that in after, into After Effects. Go to the Project and drag that into New Composition. Then it's the same frame rate <coughs> as you rendered it out. So let's say I just add some text here. By the way, if you want to know how to <laughs> um, make the numbers randomly change and how to animate them in and how to make them look like professional and stuff, I will just in this tutorial I will just do some random shit and, and not really animate this. Let me just type in some random stuff. So Normally I would motion track it then and all those shit things. But for this example I won't motion track anything. So let's say that's the effect I want to add. Um, yeah, then I add the effect. And then I go to composition again. Add to render queue. Uh, by the way, if you want some other after effects render settings then just tell me. But for this I will, uh, when I work between the programs I always, uh, when I render between the programs I always use AVI uncompressed without audio because um, yeah, you don't need the audio but and it's the best quality you can get with AVI uncompressed but the fr um, file size is also really large. Sorry that was my chair if you heard that. <laughs> um, so then I will name that clip 1 edited or AE or something and render that out again so yeah that's basically it um, let me just render this so um, where is it there and then I drag that back into Vegas put that in there uh, you can cut it out or you can just put it uh, into another layer or something um yeah and then 
you can synchronize it again maybe if you edit an effect and you want to sync it to the music then you just see where your audio is and if you want to syncing tutorial then just write it in the comments and this is really a beginner's tutorial so if you already knew this please don't hate but I got many requests on this so yeah please don't hate on me and by the way guys I will make the velocity tutorial but not now um, just stay tuned for that and if you want some Cinema 4D or Photoshop tutorials also then just write it in the comments uh, yeah like the video and bye